Hello everyone. So in this tutorial we're going to look at projecting and transferring mesh details from one subtool to another in ZBrush. This is a very useful tool, especially when you're looking to transfer details from your high poly model over to your subdivided low poly model. It's particularly useful when you have a high poly model that has absolutely no relationship with your unwrapped low poly model and you need a way of getting those details over. So to complete this tutorial, you'll need an unwrapped low poly model and a high poly model. Export them out as object files and then in a new fresh ZBrush document, bring them in. Append them to a subtool slot like so. Once you have them as subtools like this, simply click and drag to draw them out into the scene. We are now ready to start transferring these details over and we're going to do this using the project function under subtool. First, set your project scan distance. I find anywhere between 0.02 to 0.05 is effective for this. Once you have done that, you want your low poly selected and your high resolution visible, like so. Then simply press project all. As you can see, it started to transfer over some of the shape. So now what I'm going to do is repeat this process on every subdivision. So I'm going to subdivide. So I'm going to subdivide up again. And of course, press project. You'll want to continue this process until you get your low poly model to a similar resolution to your high poly model. Okay, so that's all finished up. As you can see, it's done a very good job of transferring over those details. They're virtually interchangeable. It's only some slight differences. What I'll now look to do is to sculpt some very fine detail on this now projected low resolution model. So at this point, if your files are backed up, you can quite safely delete your old high poly model as you'll no longer need it. All the fine detail and RGB painting that you do now should be on this subdivided unwrapped low poly model. Okay, that's it. Any questions, post below. Thanks for watching.